Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read to you a program that is called Tarot, especially Love, and it's for a zodiac signs, and this is for you coming from Sagittarius, and it is for the month of July 2017. So, I'm going to pull the first card, and this first card that I pull will be to do with your first 15 days of July. And what good news, you're going to have a very good first 15 days in July regarding your romance and your marriage and family situation. And this card promises you that if you're looking for a romance, you're going to find a very good one in the first 15 days of July. So make your move. Later on in the program, I'm going to give you your good dates and your good ages and your good colors. So we'll do that later on. But I can tell you that in your first 15 days in areas of romance, you'll find a very good romance. Your ongoing romance is doing very well. The bonding is beautiful. In areas of your marriage, there's so much love and happiness shown to each other. And also there is talk of holidays and there's talk of um, travel plans, both in the area of romance and marriage as well. And you seem to be very proud of yourself or very proud of your marriage or romance partner. So that's again very nice bonding together. So both in romance and marriage areas, the first 15 days shows plenty of sparkle, plenty of good sparks. And there's going to be so much togetherness. So try to be together in the first 15 days as much as you can. All right. The only little downside I worry about is that either you or your romance partner or your marriage partner could be tending to be a little dominating. So it's you who is listening to me. So allow them to dominate a bit. Allow them to get away with it. Allow them to feel important and feel part of decision making. And that will make your first 15 days even better. Now later in the program, I'm going to give you, as I said, your lucky dates and your lucky ages and your lucky colors. And also I'm going to give you a certain zodiac sign to be very careful about. Okay, somebody from there would be the troublemaker. Firstly, I'm going to pull the second card which has to do with your last 15 days of July. And your last 15 days of July for you coming from Sagittarius are extremely good as well. You are very lucky and you can find romance which is very good and you can find romance which is very steady. Your new romance partner will be very helpful and very loving in the last 15 days that you find. And also the ongoing romance shows long-term plans are now being made. There's talk of togetherness forever. There's talk of how each wants to help the other and support the other. So a wonderful last 15 days of uh, romance situation. Regarding your marriage, there's so much bonding as well. The financial planets are very good. The love planets are extremely strong. There's talk of holidays and planning. There's long-term bonding. So, you can do very well in your marriage area as well. There's only one, one thing I'd ask you to be careful, whether in romance or in marriage, is don't compete. Let your marriage or romance partner take the lead and you will see that your marriage partner especially is very happy to be given a responsibility to take charge as well. So, a wonderful and also your siblings and your parents are going to be very helpful for you and they're going to bring a lot of help in, in every way that you ask from them. Now, I'm going to, you come from Sagittarius, so I'm going to talk to you about your, what do we start, on your lucky dates in July. So, the lucky dates in July for you are the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st and the 30th. And these lucky dates will provide for new romance if you want, for bonding in romance areas if you have one already, in marriage and with your children and with your siblings and with your, with your relatives and parents. You are also going to have a lot of beautiful bonding on the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st and the 30th of July. Bookmark these dates, be out with everybody and you will see so much happiness and so much promises made to help each other. Now I'm going to talk about your good ages in the month of July. If you happen to be the ages of 21 or 30 or 39 or 48 or 57 or 66 
or 75 or 84. You are going to be one very lucky person. You will find a wonderful romance for yourself. You will find that you can make your ongoing romance so lovely. You will find that your marriage situation becomes so wonderful. And there is so much love written here. If you are not of these ages, never mind. It just means that you are not so lucky as those ages I've mentioned, but you'll be lucky enough and you'll be doing well enough and you'll follow my advice and make progress in the romance and your personal marriage areas as well. Okay. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky colors. And the lucky color from the card, oh, there is a wonderful purple here. And so I'm going to choose the color purple for you for the month of July undergarments, top garments, a purple handkerchief, a purple towel, just contact with purple in any way possible. And you will be, it doesn't matter if you like purple or dark purple by the way, and you will become very very happy and you will gain this extra aura in the areas of romance and marriage as well. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you about a certain zodiac sign which may produce problems in your romance and marriage areas. Watch out, this person comes from Virgo. And this person from Virgo is going to make life difficult in your marriage and in your marriage area. Could be an outsider, could be somebody interfering. It could be your romance partner or it could be also your marriage partner. It happens to be, take a back seat, let that person take the lead and spend all their energy. Okay, that way. Now, I'm already Skyping. And I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session with me. And that's based on your date of birth and time of birth, looking at your palms, looking at your face when we Skype, I read faces too, or using Kabbalistic tarot cards if you want me to in the 90 minute session. Go to Facebook and follow me. I will be doing your next five or six years for you in all areas of your life. So when you're on Facebook and follow me, you communicate with me, ask me questions and we'll make a date to Skype or go to Skype itself and leave me a message and I'll be able to do things for you and help you in your next five to six years very nicely. Until then, thank you and good luck.